Good day, everyone. So blessed to be back with you for another West Coast Shaving Daily Shave. So I have three hopes for today's video. Number one, that the shave goes well. Number two, that I remember all the things that I wanna say because I always seem to forget something. And number three, that the phone doesn't dismount from the mirror, which it has been doing. I just hope today is not that day. So with that in mind, I'll get right into it. Today's review is gonna be of a classic, but a reimagined classic, and that is Barrister and Mann's Seville. So if you know Barrister and Mann, they are a powerhouse. They are a mainstay in the wet shaving community. They've been around as long as anybody. They're actually the very first artisan soap I ever picked up. I've been doing wet shaving for just over five years now, and their Bay Rum in the white label was the very first artisan soap I ever picked up. And uh, I used it till it got the ring of death, and then I pipped it to a friend. But it was a great fragrance. I wanna get it in this base. The white label, if I'm not mistaken, was one of their first bases if it wasn't the first base. And then they had the Lather series, which was kind of a one-off where they made smaller pucks and it was supposed to be a more economy offering an alternative to their more expensive bases. Then they had the Reserve base, they had the Glissant base, they have the Excelsior base now. They do the Soft Heart series. The Soft Heart was basically the base that didn't make the cut in between Glissant and Excelsior. Soft Heart was one of the evolutions that he went through as far as trying to tinker around with soap bases and figure out which one was gonna be the new one. Excelsior ended up making the cut, Soft Heart didn't, but they ended up offering Soft Heart as a one-off and it's garnered quite a few fans. I've heard nothing but good things about it, so much so that I wanna give them a shot. So, but Excelsior is their flagship. It's what they use uh, to offer through various different stores, through their own personal website, obviously through West Coast Shaving. The Excelsior is where it's at. It's a very thick, rich base. It's very tallow infused. It's almost like a clay-like base and it takes an exorbitant amount of water. So one of the things I love about Barrister Man, I have quite a few Barrister Man soap sets. I, lo I love the soap, but I have to have the matching splash, as you know, but they just reek of sophistication. They're just such an elegant soap offering. Their labels, their packaging, the entire experience, it just spells elegance. It's one of the nicer wet shaving experiences that you'll have. And that's continued from their very inception all the way to today. And Will Carius, who is the artisan owner proprietor of that company, continues to think of new innovative ways to make that mission um, a lot more evident and to snowball it into something bigger than it already is. And so that's Seville. This is their barbershop scent. It's a very nice, it's, it's barbershop-esque, but it's a very eloquent, or not eloquent, how do I want to say that? It's a very elegant barbershop type fragrance. So it's just, um, it's almost like if you took barbershop and married it with citrus and turned that into a bottled fragrance, that's what you would get here. So everything they do has an element, element of sophistication to it. So it's not always just straight up barbershop or straight up lime or straight up bay rum or straight up floral scents. It's always a fusion of this really sophisticated blend and it just comes together so beautifully. It's, it's almost like going into a Macy's or you know one of the more expensive retailers and going to their Nordstrom is the one I was thinking of. Going to their, going to their perfume or their cologne section and really smelling all the men's fragrances. It's that kind of an experience. That I think is the experience that Will is always striving for with these products. So it's a really nice scent. It's a mainstay scent. And these labels with the animals on them, the Bay Rum has a parrot and there's some other animals. They have a goat on one. There's different ones, but this is their original line of original fragrances. And obviously they've veered into other things and other themes, but this is their original line. And what I like is that Will is redoing these in the Excelsior base. I think all of them now are available in Excelsior, much like Peter and Annie are doing with their original line in the new Kaizen base. They're kind of reinventing some of those older soaps in the newer bases. So I think that's cool. So with that, I've got everything loaded up. I'm gonna be using my T3 Trafalgar by Simpson. This is a synthetic 28 millimeter brush. I love, love, love this brush. I know they had a synthetic prior to this. I saw one review on it. It wasn't very rave. In fact, in that particular video, the gentleman that made the video chucked it into a shrubbery behind him because he hated the brush that much. But they came out with this line, the Trafalgar series, and I believe there's three different iterations of it. This is great. I've got the matching splash, and today I'm gonna be going with my brass carve that has a third use perma sharp. The carve has become one of my favorite razors, if not my favorite. I use it all the time. If you see my shave of the days on Instagram, it's always, usually, 90% of the time, one of my carves. I have the brass, I have the aluminum, and I have the stainless steel. It's one of the more brilliantly designed heads. 
And the two best marriages I found for, for me have been the Perma Sharp and the Astra Superior Platinum. So the Superior Platinum was always a good blade for me. It makes any razor better for me. But this Perma Sharp, I've just fallen in love with it in this particular razor. So just the carb in general, not just the brass. But anyway, okay. I always monologue a little bit because I get really excited about this stuff, as you know. Now that I'm five minutes in, the trick is to shave in a reasonable amount of time. So my hope is always that I said all the things I wanted to say before I start shaving. And then I can speak less. But that never happens. So this is a really nice package. So Barrister and Man has gone, they were using these really hard plastic containers. And last year they deviated from those right around the time that they started offering Ravish and some of those other seasonal or special edition offerings. I did pick that one up. It's a nice scent but they went to a very thick plastic tub. So it's not a hard plastic, but just a thicker plastic. So it doesn't break on impact. So if you drop it, it doesn't shatter. So apparently there's an issue with these. I really miss these containers though. These are hard as a rock, but they're just really nice, really good quality. I keep saying things like ele elegant and sophisticated and things like that. But to me, those are the best adjectives that I can use to describe the things that Will does. I mean, it's just amazing. He continues to strive for that perfection and he's doing well with it. I know he's really big on perfuming and he tries to fuse that hobbying of perfuming in with his wet shaving endeavors and he does well with it. So anyways, this is just one of those, I mean, look at the actual printing is on the container itself. I don't think that's, that's not a sticker at all. I don't know how he did that. I mean, this is just great. I mean, the presentation altogether so I have several in those old containers, the reserve bases in those, the newer Excelsior stuff is in there, but the newest stuff like Sunny Lane, like Ravish, like Soft Heart, things after that, they're in that. They're nice, but they kind of are reminiscent of some of the other stuff that everybody else is using. So they're good. They, they do the job, they serve the purpose, but I just really like those. But I get it for guys that drop, I mean, our hands get wet and slippery and then we fumble one of these things and we drop it and that might be all she wrote. And you may have paid 20 bucks for the soap. So that could be a problem. So with these reviews, I picked up a couple of nice synthetics from West Coast Shaving because I really like that new Evo from Omega. So I picked that up and I picked this up, which this is a, this thing's only like, 25 bucks plus tax and stuff. You're going to pay like 30 bucks shipping out the door. I mean, it's just amazing for a Simpson brush. The handle quality is there. This knot is amazing. It's dense. It's stout. It does have some backbone, but it's not, it doesn't interfere with the shave. It's not here. Some people don't like that pushback, that springiness against the face. This has some of it, but it's still great. If you watch Ross McBee's videos, I think he uses this brush quite a bit. And I know he really likes it too. He's actually the guy that uh, turned me on to it. And so, uh, but I like the results that you get with a synthetic. I really do enjoy Badger. In fact, most of the knots that I have are probably Badger, maybe 60% of the ones I have in my den. I enjoy the luxury. I enjoy the face feel. I enjoy the experience. But synthetic just gives you really good results in a very short amount of time. And it seems to really dispense not only the hydration, but the lather back onto your face. Kind of that cycle it goes through when you're lathering and the lather's kind of going through the bristles and onto your face and forming into what it's supposed to materialize into. I think synthetic does a great job. And for the purposes of review, to get motor mouths like me going, this works better than an animal hair brush for me. Uh, Boar is pretty good too, but bather, oh, bather. Badger definitely takes a technique. There is a technique to it and you've got to do it right. And you've got to do it enough times to where you can do it mindlessly, especially for review purposes. Now see, this is already doing what I want it to do in a lot less time. And I know with my Badger, this gets a lot, it goes through like a clay phase before it gets into the creamy phase. And with the synthetic, I notice it kind of bypasses that phase and goes right to the creaminess phase. And I like that. See, look at that, really nice. So again, I love playing around with Badger. Uh, when I'm live on Facebook, 
doing things like that, I'll play around with Badger and if I'm having a nice conversation, but for these videos, I just find synthetic kind of moves things along and you know, plus it showcases really cool options like these. So normally you get inexpensive synthetics. I mean, you can go to brush makers now and get any kind of synthetic not really placed into any type of handle that they're willing to make for you. But coming into videos like this, um, these are just really nice alternatives. So instead of just buying some cheap one-off one, I mean, these really good companies, these notarized mainstay companies that we all know that have been around the Hallmark companies that we've known for years and years, they're making stuff like this now. It was nice to see Omega come out with a brush like that because I haven't seen them. I mean, their last synthetic that I remember everybody liked was the Omega S brush. I mean, and that can't hold a candle to the things that we have available to us today. So when I saw them come out with that 26 millimeter Evo in all those different handles, it's a little more expensive, but it's a great performer and the handles are nice quality. All right, I think I'm gonna paint some water into this and then we're gonna get down to business. Hopefully. <laughs> Yeah, this is, this is just such a great base, guys. I mean, Barrister Man, you really can't go wrong. Now, probably, if anybody has anything to say that's not completely positive about Barrister Man is, Will does like to tinker with fragrances and they're not always crowd-pleasing. Um, I think he's been on a good roll as of the last few years. I've seldom smelled anything that I didn't like from Barrister and Man, but back in the uh, the years, I'd say of 2015, all the way through 17, for a couple of years there, he was offering a few things that people could take or leave. Uh, for example, Leviathan. I know guys that are in love with that fragrance and I just can't get into it. And I'm not a hard guy to please when it comes to that kind of stuff, but I just never developed an affinity for it. The other one was night music, I remember that. I think people, that's the thing. Will is so great with presentation that if he fumbles on scent or if he makes a scent that's really less recept or less received than other fragrances that he makes, I mean, he makes up for it in presentation and presentation and sophistication. So it's just, you know, it's one or the other. All right, guys, I'm fumbling. I'm in this mode right now. I talk a lot for work. And at work, it's always about getting information out there as quickly as possible. And it's always meeting after meeting, presentation after presentation. So I just finished up work and have gone into this presentation. And I'm gonna need a break after this. <laughs> so, but this is nice. This is a nice relaxing presentation. I love doing this kind of stuff. My hair's a little thicker today. I think I've got two days growth. But this is one of those razor and blade marriages where you almost can't even feel the blade. It's that smooth and it's cutting. So it's not like I don't feel the blade, nothing's happening. I mean, it's doing its job. It's efficiently removing my facial hair, but I have other razors that do that with a lot more abrasion and I really like this. So Carve for me, I have a lot of nice razors in there. This one has been as far as performance, comfort, experience, I'm always reaching for one of these. It's just that good. So I would highly recommend, if my opinion carries any weight at all, which probably doesn't, <laughs> but that Trafalgar, if you're into synthetic, if you like 
an elegant type of a brush if you want something from one of those old Hallmark companies like Simpson, which I just found out is Alexander Simpson. Simpson, that's it traditionally made the chubby brush with those really nice stout and dense badger knots. They're now doing synthetic in the same fashion, which gives you a less expensive alternative, which is really nice. And it's a great, I mean, it performs wonderfully. All right. Move on to pass two. So I think the cool thing about Barrister and Man is I know they discontinued the lava line. You can't get white label anymore unless you're buying it on BST, you know, from another shaver that has them. I sold all of mine back in the day. And I've been collecting the newer ones, but what you can buy today, you can still get Glissant from time to time. You can still get Reserve. Reserve is its own line. So I like that Will does that. He keeps that stuff out there multiple bases at a time now. So you're not having to just, okay, now it's this one, now it's this one, now it's this one. So he has the reserve line, he has the soft heart series, and he has his mainstay or his driver product, which is the Excelsior. And I think that's cool. And then he's also had other evolutions of splash bases as well. And so this one is the Deltas, the, the most recent one, just before the soft heart base. So that's the one I'm gonna be using today. But I like that you can do that. So if you want to collect Reserve, it's out there. You can buy it at West Coast Shaving. If you want to buy Excelsior, it's at West Coast Shaving. If you want to buy Soft Heart, you can buy that. And I'll have to update the comments because I'm not positive you can get Soft Heart at West Coast Shaving. I'm leaning towards yes, but I don't remember checking on that. But I know you can get Excelsior and you can get Reserve. But Barrister Man has, I don't think, ever had a base that struck out. And on third use, this is still cutting like butter. like a hot knife through butter, I should say. So yeah, this base is great. The other thing too, Outside of all the stuff I told you, as far as presentation goes, Barrister Man hits it out of the park. However, the one thing I've noticed with this base, and I used to think a few years back that this actually wasn't a thing. People would talk about cushion. I'm thinking, well, I guess also provides cushion. If it's slick enough, it's gonna glide across your face and it's soap, it's gonna protect you. However, it's true to some degree, but I've learned that there are other variables to that. There are soaps that I've come to learn through experience, through trial and error, that I have in my den that protect me better than others. So much so now that when I shave with them, I can almost determine if I need to use a pre-shave or if I don't, or if I wanna do it just for the luxury of it. But this base, especially if you have sensitive skin, is an amazing protector. I don't know what the chemical breakdown is or makeup of all this is, because I'm not a chemist and I don't know how to make soaps, but this is one of the more protective soaps I have as far as even razor and blade combinations that are typically somewhat abrasive. I don't really have anything left that's really abrasive but somewhat abrasive. So you saw some videos back too. Just as an example. I 
I reviewed the new V3 base from Oaken Lab. The Sanctum fragrance. And in that video, I was using a razor I hadn't used in a very long time. It's one of the razors I still have. I don't really have any of the razors anymore that gave me an indifferent experience or were abrasive or I just knew I wasn't going to reach for anymore. Because if I'm paying this much to shave, I don't care about anything else but the comfort and enjoyment of it. I don't need a challenge or to tell people I can shave with this and I can shave with that. I just do whatever's comfortable because I'm paying for that. But that base, for example, has a lot of cushion. So what that base was able to accomplish was take a rather abrasive experience and it protected my face. I don't think I even cut myself during that shave where I know if I'd used another soap base or an older base, I probably would have cut myself. So that base did a great job protecting me. Even though I could feel some of the abrasion still, it still precluded me from getting cuts, which I think is great. This base does that same thing. It's, it's like ultra padding. I don't know how Will does it. Um, I don't know how Christopher Kerrigan does it, but they have managed to accomplish that. So that's one of the things I've noticed going into newer bases now is there's a strong emphasis, not only on comfort, but on cushion and protection. And that is the thing. So I used to think like, eh, yeah, you know, I just, like all soaps do this and that. I think it's all just kind of gimmicky. That was the thought I had in my head. But as I'm going into this newer generation of shaving now, it's a thing. It really does. I, I do have bases in there that I know won't protect me as good with the same razor blade combination as this one and the new Oaken Lab will, just to give an example. Now that's significant and important for me because especially around this area, I have a lot of hard to get spots the way my hair grows in. I have to come in at a hundred different angles. And so when I'm constantly going over, going over, going over, going over, I'm gonna risk cuts. I'm exposing myself to that. And there's other bases that will succumb to that rather quickly. And this one I can go over, go over, go over, go over, go over, and I'll be okay. And that's that residual slickness factor we're talking about. So I think in summation, there's just, what I really want to say is there's a lot of science that goes into designing this stuff. And these soap makers I've learned over the years, I mean, I, I appreciate them more and more as I see the things that they're developing now, it's a lot of work, it's a lot of trial and error. I think it's a lot of process of elimination, just you know, trying things, trying things, trying things. You'll hear guys you know, that are coming out with soap bases for the first time that have been experimenting for two years, three years. Not just on soap, sometimes just a scent. So there's a lot that goes into this stuff. And I try not to take that for granted because Clearly, I'm enjoying the fruits of their labor. I pay for it, obviously, but these guys do great work, and this is a great example of that. So I, I know it takes time to perfect and refine things. All right, so I'm gonna pull what's left out of the knot. So far, it's been a pretty darn good shave. I generally like to shave right out of the shower and that's because my beard is softer and I've just washed my face with a really good product and it's like my hairs and my face are prepped and conditioned for that. So, but oftentimes when I do get a chance to shower, especially now that everybody's just kind of working from home, I often will shower when I'm done. So I, I try on the weekends, at least I try to, but sometimes if I have to work, then I have to shower at the end of that day. So if I shower in the morning, like today I did, shower early in the morning, I wasn't able to shave and make this video till today or in the evening. So obviously I did it today.
So this is my cleanup pass and you can see my head's kind of beating up. The air shut off a little bit ago, I think because of the temperature it's set at. And it gets hot up here on the second story. And I'm in California and we have had one of the hottest summers on record. And uh, it is hopefully coming to a close as we head into October. So anyways, those are some considerations with the Excelsior outside of all the fluffy stuff. There is a lot of science behind why you should make a purchase like this. It's just great. And the base has been a winner and I wanna try the soft heart. Sometimes you do that stride where you know you got what you were trying to get. You can hear it and you can feel it. And there you are. All right, so that was good. So if you don't have experience with this base, if you haven't tried Excelsior yet and you've been on the fence with Barrister Man, Go ahead and do it. Like I said, it's one of the better shaving experiences you'll encounter in the community. My wife is back there adding commentary. She's gone with me and accompanied me on this wet shaving excursion for the last five plus years. <laughs> you do know this is a West Coast shaving video, right? So my wife sometimes, there she is. She, uh, I go live in a specific Facebook group, and so she's used to me doing that quite a bit where I'm just jibber-jabbering with the guys about shaving and I've got a live audience, but this is going on YouTube. So she'll have a much larger audience. All right, so this is the Delta Splash. So you can tell, I wanna see where it says it. I think it's right here. So if you go, there's, a, there's an insignia, a symbol on the soap, and I think that's it down there. That signifies that it is the Excelsior base. I don't know if I can get this to focus the way I want to, but there's a, an insignia that signifies that it is the Excelsior base. And then the Deltus will have this little triangle on the bottom. So that's how you know it's the actual Deltus base. So uh, about a year ago, I think I've reviewed a couple of Bear Stern Mans, but I remember I had the blessing and privilege of being one of the first reviewers for Baudelaire, when that first came out, that was the first, second soap Will had offered in the Excelsior base. The first one, if I'm not mistaken, was Vespers. And it was awesome. I mean, it was just um, getting to know the story behind, Will had just done an interview with Jared Stein from West Coast Shaving about what he was trying to accomplish with all of this. And so going back to that, and seeing the creation that Will had come up with at that time was remarkable. So anyway, I like that he's kind of taken that base and is just kind of reimagining not just the new stuff, but his older stuff too. So there you have it. You can get almost anything now within reason in Excelsior. And that's how you identify what it is. So there it is. So anyways, folks, I want to thank you for joining me. I think that I'll call that a shave. It was Barrister and Man's Seville. If you haven't tried this scent, it'll knock your socks off, number one. But number two, you'll really love it in this packaging and you'll really love it in this base. I imagine Will's going to redo the tubs uh, for all of his newer offerings of the new repackaging. But it's still great. And Bear Stern Man is something that you'll never regret buying. So thanks for being with me today, guys. God bless you all. And I'll see you on the next one.